Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Ducky Streams. And I hope this works out. If anyone notices something not working, just let me know. Just gonna hang out for a second. Hello, delicious sanity. How is it going? I hope everything looks and sounds okay on your guys' end. <laughs> Poo to me too. That was me testing the new stream chat thing, which I had to do because I'm using OBS instead of Streamlabs because the Legend of Zelda would not work on Windows. Do 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 That's good. Um We're gonna choose this and we're gonna race ah Hello, Bunny Hug 88. I've also decided that um, it's hard to multi stream from Linux at the moment, so we're just going to record this and upload it to, Lo to LuTube. Oh, you're Bunny Hug 81 now. That's different. You got your real birth year on there, meow. <laughs> Bluetooth is where you put your poos. I put my poos in the chat at, to start to test it. Got the sad beginning music and story. Dee -dee 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 -dee. We got glare all over Fredericton here because it is super bright out. It sure is bright. So is the chat window right now, and I'm like trying to read through glare all over my uh, screen. Whoop! Do do. I imagine as the stream goes on, it'll get less glary. You could add more glare by going. That just makes me yellow on one side. It's almost seven o'clock here. I tried so hard to get a screen capture of this working, but no matter what I did, it was just the ugliest thing and everything sounded like farts. Like, you would just have fart music playing along, and... Yeah. There was also, like, 
a second and a half delay between the controller and what happened. You are going to have the weirdest time with that. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. Do, do. And hello, Kay, and hello, Shark, and hello, Michael, if you're there. Oh, uh. Yeah. What was his name? Golbez, right. It just sounded like everything was filtered through farts. And I mean, that would have been hilarious to play, but it was also impossible to play, and... It just looked so ugly as well. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Big brother. I don't know if I'll do uh, voices for this. There's just so many characters. And I think they already have voices. Lookout. I don't care what anyone says, this might just be the best Zelda game. I kind of want a Wii U just for this game, but I wouldn't want a Wii U for any other purpose. Like, I want to play the HD version, I really do, but man, just oh, like 200 bucks for a Wii U right now about and just for one game to see how it is in HD, I don't know, I think we're fine. It's such a good little game. They're always so overpriced. You can usually buy Wii's for like a dime a dozen though. But once again, I have no real use for a Wii. What a pleasant surprise! I don't know if I'll do everything with this run, but I'm gonna do my best. 
get a lot of it done because like you may as well play this game as much as possible. Controls are definitely a little tiny bit outdated here, but I'm getting used to it. Marketplace is just the worst. It's just the worst. And I've had some luck, but... Slowly. You could also distract with bait, I guess. Can I get it? Yeah! Oh, oh no! Old man! I had the pig. Now I'm L targeting the pig. You've just L targeted me. You see, when you press L, you can target certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me. Of course, even if there isn't anything around to target, you can press L to face forward, you know. It's quite handy indeed. There are a myriad of ways to use the L targeting as well. Quite an ingenious little thing, if I do say so myself. Of course, that's not the only trick in my bag. Not remotely. I can teach you a few more things if you just climb up that ladder over there and drop by my room. I am not a fan of him. Like, I don't really even go talk to him in his stupid little house. Why did you bring me that little, little piglet all the way here just for me? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I've been thinking of getting a pet pig for a while now. The boys will be so happy when they get home. You, sweetie. Oh, ducky. Hold out your hand. This is your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. Why, this little darling is cute as a button. You know, it's so cute that I wouldn't... In mind having even more of them. Why did you bring me another piglet? Oh, you were, were you all worried that this little guy would get lonely hanging outside the fence all by himself? This is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Thank you so much for bringing us yet another family member. Here's a little something for you. If you find any other little piggies, you know where to bring them. Um, they better be not be hymns. Because male piggies tend to fight each other to the death if they're in the same pen. You can only put lady pigs together. Because they don't kill each other. Okay. <laughs> 
I hear a crying child outside of my window, and I feel bad for him. Oh no, gross! Ew! Um, your grandma was calling for you, ducky. And so was my mom's. Oh, jeez, that hurt. <laughs> this kid is gross. That is true. <laughs> this snort kid. That's just so much snot. <laughs> oh, do you see anything you'd like to buy? Oh, just use over to browse. We need a bait bag. This holds bait. It's quite useful, and it's my very last one. You can't buy bait if you don't have a bag like this. Yay, we got a bait bag. Beetle is so much more useful in this game than in, uh... the two new Zelda games. Like, at least you can buy bait from him in this one, and the other one it's just like, oh, I've got a couple bugs. Sometimes he has arrows. Thank you! I have two points saved up. I should try to save up 30 points so I can earn a silver membership. Because that's something that's definitely worthwhile. I'm starting to enjoy the Tears of the Kingdom, but... Thank you. I would say Breath of the Wild is... It's not bad, but you can skip it. It's just a little too empty. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. It's there's just not as much to do. And my god, I hate Princess Zelda in the new games. She is just... the absolute worst. Hi. Ducky, try these on. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. You got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is the day to celebrate. It is a day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. In the olden days, this is the way boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about sword play. Hanging the family shield on the wall as a decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days.
Does all this make sense to you? Isn't that nice, Ducky? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm gonna invite over the whole town for your birthday party. So I'd better get ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma is gonna make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mmm. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now go get your sister Errol. Yeah, Link is always a kid in these games. But it kind of feels more natural when he's a kid. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Oh my, Ducky. Congratulations. That outfit looks cute on you. Hey, your little sister Errol was looking for you not too long ago. Oh, did I tell you? She was watching me not too long ago and said she wanted to learn to carry jars on her head too, so she could help your grandma do chores. Hey, if you see Errol, tell her that all she needs to do is lift a jar over it. her head is to do some instructions that we all know how to do. Get away from me, you snot-nosed children. I'm sorry. I should have shown you. Ah, hoy, big brother. Did Grandma make that out for it for you? But wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat, though. So anyway, Ducky, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand just for a second? I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! You got the telescope. This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. You can do it stuff like that. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? Hee hee hee. Oh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking at our house from over there. Link's eyebrows in this game are the best. Oh. Are you using in yellow to zoom in? Because you should be. That postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? <laughs> it's the Helmarok King. Oh no! He crashed on the woods on top of the island. Ducky, this is so terrible! That girl fell into the forest, she needs help! But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. Alright, I'll have to beat it to death with this telescope. Oh, stay away from me, children. 
No! No! Okay, am I gonna get this all in one go? I hope so. Oh, what is the matter, Ducky? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is, from the look on your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What did you say, Ducky? Ah, you have come for some serious instruction in the way of the sword? Yes. Boing. Very good. Your first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Face me and press B. Do not fear for my safety. I am ready for you. Only B. Sorry. Yep, it's the way she goes. Alright, I got a L target. Keep swinging. Very good. Next is the thrust. L target and press up and... Or tilt up and press B. Come at me. Thrust with your sword. Very good. Keep thrusting. That doesn't sound good. I was. Next is the spin attack. Hold B bri <laughs> briefly to build up your strength, then release it. Or rotate once and push B. Has anyone in the history of ever done the rotate once and press B? I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, that's a thing. I never did it where you spin the thing instead of just holding it down. <laughs> you did take it very seriously. I loved watching you play it. And yet, I have a certain anxiousness in, in the sword you hold. An eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded on the fields of battle. I do not know what happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow, I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Ducky. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. You don't want to let down the kind old man who has entrusted it to you. Since the olden days, this sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with a desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Ducky. <laughs> Serious... <laughs> oh dear, the comments. <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah, and remember to put away anything you're holding before you push out to crouch. You can't go crawling around with stuff in your hands. No! I hate that you can hear him going boop 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 as well. Ha <laughs> ha! 
But then there'll be snot in the ocean. Someone needs to get that kid like a Kleenex or something. Oh yeah, a turnip lady... The old turnip lady was nice, but the new one is... just the same. Now that there are nieces taken over, and she's got the snot dribble too. Wow, what's with that get-up? Well, whatever. So, where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came and... Miss! Miss Tetra! Oh, oh, thank you. Thank goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on this summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on the top of a mountain? Well, that wasn't nice of it. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. But miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. Man, Fredericton is glowing even more. Hi, big brother! <laughs> ah! The link is so expressive. Did you really think you could just fly over to your sister, Link? Ah, oh, stupid kid. Get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you can do. I think he already is a saint. What? You want to come with us on our ship? I think that's right. Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know, pirates. The terror of the seas. What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get, a headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all, but that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? And how do you figure that? Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Just who are you? Who, Where do you get off butting in, in on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, 
That poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters and I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands, as, as a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter, whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who has just been kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you, dear Miss Fearsome Pirate? My point is that the bird mistook the poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. Dot dot dot! And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Ducky here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you the bird was kidnapped both kidnapped both you and Ducky's sister has made its foul nest the north on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. And this Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So you're, what are you gonna do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Ducky a little help now, would it? Oof. I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, Lately, I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this forsaken fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave. That's stupid. I mean, come on. Even a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with. Anything? Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stay away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while. So you'd better say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Alright. Now well, I guess we go do our thing. Oh, it's even getting in Fredericton's eyes now. Maybe he is going to be raptured. Yep, yeah, here's that woodpecker again. It's a woodpecker outside of my house. What is it, Ducky? Please, tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Errol? Is she still playing outside with the gulls? <gasps> the shield is gone! Ducky. Is this what you're looking for? Take it with you. You got the hero shield. This leg this is the legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Hold R to defend yourself. You can also use hold R to defend while L targeting. I don't know if you can hear that uh, woodpecker in the background. I guess it is true. Errol really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take a sweet young child? I wonder where I could find sunglasses big enough for his head. <laughs> it kind of feels like it. Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you going to still use that thing? Are you going to get splinters and cry? Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? Yes. The blinds are... I'm keeping them open for my plants. 
And because it's windy and it's too hot in here with a uh, uh, window closed. Good luck finding Errol. Take care of yourself. Ugh, how much longer is this going to go on? And do you think? Do you have an estimate? Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? Wing. Ducky, listen kid, you can't just stand around on deck, you get in everybody's way. I've told L Nico to look after you, so you'd better report below decks and ask him what, what, he should be, what you should be doing. I'm gonna get in the way. Into the big blue, boys, turn the, the ship full to starboard, we, we head for the northern seas. Listen shrimp, you're really creeping me out standing there like that, so quit it, yeah? Stay out of my way. Way out of my way. Go down below and find Nico. Hmm, that Nico doesn't didn't make out half bad with you being the new Swabby after all. New Swabbies always get stuck doing the hardest work. It's a real raw deal. But hey, I'll tell you, it sure does it sure sounds like Nico is happy to not be on the bottom rung on pirate ladder. You bet he is. Hey, but don't sweat it. I'm sure you'll do just fine so long as you don't disobey him. I'm used to being able to jump up ladders. So your name's Ducky, right? <laughs> That's one weird get up you got going on there. So what's the deal? Is that popular back on your island or what? Now that I think about it though, I think I've seen an outlet outfit like that somewhere before. Ah! And are half of this crew like little kids too? Like, there's no way that guy would have like sideburns. Like, He's like eight. You get out of the way, will you? Turn around right now. Climb down. Stop right there. This is Miss Tetra's cabin. Most of those real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way we're getting an outs or we're letting an outsider in. Don't even think of it. Yep. Oh, well now. Ahoy there, Swabby. As of today, ahem, I am your superior. Now, Nico, now I promise I'll go easy on you. So just do as I say, okay? Right. Now, first of all, you have to take the test all pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you. 
real careful like so you can cram it into your no doubt mushy swabby brain. Your mushy swabby brain. First of all, first off, you gotta press this switch. This is the the only easy part. Just walk up to it and tilt forward and step onto it. Presto, switch pressed. Now check it out. After the platform rise, platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. Okay, so I was able to do this first one myself. That next one is too far, right? That's when you gotta do this. If you jump right at the rope, you can grab onto it and use to swing. Swing until you get close enough to the next platform. Then press A to let go and jump to it. So do you think you know how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while. So you don't get there by the time they drop, you'll have to start over. This is always a bit of a pain. It'll probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year, one tough year, full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now give it a try. This ought to be good for a chuckle or two. Okay, can I do it with glare all in my eyes and all over the screen? The problem is, is that the camera is reversed what modern games should be. Yep. Oh man. What? You did it already? Dot dot dot. I dot dot dot. I dot dot dot. I'm proud of you as dot dot. I'm not doing that forever. As my underling. I I wonder if it's okay to just give it that to him. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. All right, Swabby. I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. I'm only good at this because I've had to do this about 15 times in the last week, testing out all the different uh, versions of this game and ways I can play it. To see if the whole game still works. Otherwise, I would have screwed up a few times by now. Like, I got this far on... the... Ah... Uh, capture card, but it was nearly impossible, and then I got this far on a Windows emulator, but then the whole thing crashed and pooped its pants right about here. Then I had to do the Windows, or the Linux one to see if it worked. Huh? 
So I'm really good at this part right now. Oh, that makes me happy. What were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, Fredericton, you're looking half normal now. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago it used to be the hideout of a no-good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, I knew it. Look. Over there. Look, by that window. You ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's the place where they've got your sister locked up. But it looks like this whole place is under a really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. Three, two, one. I hate that you lose your sword right here. I could see it. Your sword landed all the way up there? Shoot, I'm sorry, I apologize. Guess my aim was off by a little bit. Haha, <laughs> the look on your face, priceless. Haha, <laughs> I slipped this stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing through this stone, and obviously you can hear me through it, so if you push A, you better... If you see flashy A, you better press that button. I put that stone on the quest status screen and blah blah blah, it's pretty basic. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister, so don't you go losing it, understand? Tricky dicky. I always feel like it's easier to just get thrown in jail here.
It's just faster. No, don't be an innate nade. Alright, no. Oh man, I hate I hate these guys. Stupid dink dinks. Or nanays. I call them both. I think they're actually mini blends. I think this might be like one of my least favorite parts of the game, so I just like I don't care. I'm gonna get it over and done with. I think Scott called them dink dinks. I can't remember if it was me or Scott or who had the actual name for them. I don't remember. Listen up, Ducky. There's a monster running the searchlight up there. If you can slay the monster, then just maybe it'll shut the searchlight down. Oh, but you're ar unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. If I were you, I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blows, see if I could make it drop it, its weapon. If you did that, you could pick it up with its with A, but that's just me. What'll you do? You just spend so much time learning the sword and getting used to it, and it's like, oh, we're taking it away from you. I was bad at that. It's still a fun little dungeon, it's just like, I wish I had my sword. Don't dig in your butt, Link. Aha! I've got it, Ducky. In order to reach the top of the tower where your sister's being held, you'll have to find the room right below the tower. The path to the tower begins in the rear of that room. You got that?
I hate this part. No, 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 no. Ooh. Going to be a sneaky deaky here. It is kind of funny. I'm just not good at it. I guess we got through. I actually thought about doing Metal Gear for a while. Like Metal Gear Solid, the PlayStation one. Uh, I don't have it in me to do the Nintendo one. But I think I might just go through all of the different Zelda games that I can. Like, maybe not the DS ones, because I don't know how the hell we're going to get those things streamed. It's a really, really good game. I don't know why I'm still all in a barrel. I don't need to be in a barrel anymore. Suicidal, suicidal. That sounds like another word that could get me in trouble. I'm really surprised at how many people hated this game when it came out. And now it's like everybody's favorite. Yeah, which I didn't get because, like, every Link before uh, Ocarina of Time was cartoony as well. These pendants are said to flock to those who spread joy, like butterflies to nectar-filled blossoms.
I remember actually seeing the uh, uh, commercials for this game and being like, I want this so bad. And I think that might be the reason why I got a GameCube. It's because I was talking about it a lot. I think that's why Link to the Past might be one of my favorite Zeldas. I just, there's so many good ones. I think sometimes it's necessary to change formats a little bit. And yeah, I definitely agree with that. <laughs> well, have you come to your senses yet? You are surprisingly dull-witted. That's a mean thing to say. Did I startle you? I suppose that is the o is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of Re the red king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Ducky. I've been watching you since you went into the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is... Ganon. He who obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the land in darkness, and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm of the, the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now Ganon has returned. The world is once again being threatened by evil, his evil magic. Tell me, Ducky, do you still wish to save your sister from him? And will you do anything to save her? I see. In that case, I shall guide you on, guide you as we go forward, advising on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon could not be defeated by human hands, let alone what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit of an embarrassing thing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I have brought you to the far east of the dark or gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. 
I'm sorry to ask you th this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. Well, the sail must, must come first. Do not feel limited to buying only it. Once you have it, feel free to stock up on anything else you may you think you may need. But remember, there is no time to play. Come here immediately as soon as your errands are done. There's time for play. This is like one of the funnest games in, in the world. We're gonna play around a bit. The song always gets me all nostalgic. What's the matter, mister? Why are you looking at us like we're aliens or something weird like that? What? We're good girls. We don't spread rumors. What? Can't you see we're busy? I know we're super cute and all, but that doesn't mean you can just come up and talk to us whenever you like. Jeepers. So, I'm feeling pretty good? Why? Because I recently got myself a pet pig. Three, in fact. I got a black spotted pig, too. How often do you see one of those? Not often, chum. I let him ashore to, I've let him ashore to graze over yonder, but the thing is, I can't stop worrying about little guys. This guy's a dick. This, this would be the bomb shop. Use left to look around. Come on now. How's a kid like you gonna pay for these? You're dreaming. Look, can't you read? Do these look like anything you can afford? Huh? Listen to me, boy. You're out of your mind. You can't pay for these, so scram. Um, you don't have enough cash, do you? No, didn't think so. You expect me to sell my bombs to some boy who has no money? Ha! I'm done with you. Beat it. Scram. Ew, this old man. Uh, I'm... Oh, oh, if you please, young boy there, please help me. Please listen to my tale of woe. Uh, okay. Oh, hoo hoo, my sweet daughter, my only poor Maggie. She was captured by a bunch of villains and taken to the Forsaken Fortress. What on earth do those scandals want with her? Are they just roaming around looking for young maidens? Are they just evil creatures who delight in mischief? Well, crud. Having a kidnapped daughter doesn't get you a single rupee, you know. Please, please save my poor daughter. I beg of you. Here I stand, begging. I hope you'll give those scoundrels in the Forsaken Fortress a good scare. They'll pay for what they've done. Yes, pay. I agree. <laughs> that is... It should be in every single dialogue box ever. You want? You say you want to sail for a boat? Tell me you're kidding with me. Listen up, laddie. Try using your head a little more. What makes you think a bloke like me, a guy who makes his living off the sea, gave away the the very sailing gear he needs to survive? Look elsewhere, laddie. Tis a peaceful place, this here island. The people here would never even dream of letting their little pair leaving their little paradise and setting sail on a voyage at sea. You know what I mean? Why, this town is full of faces that don't even show the slightest interest in the sails of a ship. We are... Are we sailors the only ones? Has no one else got... Has no one else set out on the great sea? And as though he's... You know. You don't look at, at all familiar, buddy. Are you some kind of tourist or something? If you are, I'll show you around. Why don't you join me for a little stroll around town? Our Windfall Island may be a little cozy, so to speak, but people from all over the world come here. The town's always lively. 
Haha, why just walking around and having a look at things is quite fun. That's the mark of a great town. Everybody's favorite character. It's Tingle. Boom! I see the green, same green clothes and the same green hat. By the way, uh, by the look of you, I'd say, Sir, could you by chance be a fairy? Goodness, do you feel my telepathy? That's why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do not worry, Tingle knows. Without you telling him, sir, yes, sir, Tingle is my name, and I have been looking for you and your kind, for I, too, long to be one of the fairy folk. And yet I was mistaken for some kind of troublemaker and put in this dreadful sort of place. How disrespectful. Please, Mr. Fairy, rescue poor Tingle from this place and take him, him to where you and your kind live in splendor. If you help me, I will give you a fabulous present. So, please, Mr. Fairy, rescue poor Tingle and take him where you and your kind live in harmony. Tingle is one of my favorites, even though I understand why everybody hates him. Hooray! Thank you oh so very much. Here is Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks. Tingle! Tingle! Kululimpa! Become an item! He gave you the Tingle Tuner. If you get stuck or need a quick hint, connect a Game Boy Advance to your Nintendo GameCube and talk to Tingle. After connecting the Game Boy Advance, blah blah blah, we, it works. Now, no matter how far we travel from this dingy cell, our souls will be as one. Splendid! Tingle is going to get ready for the to go to the realm of fairies. So you just wait here, okay, sir? Ah, I was forgetting something important. Oh, Mr. Fairy, you want to come to my island, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? You got Tingle's chart. What kind of chart could it be? Head on, on out to sea and press up and check your charts to find out. When you go out to sea, open it. If you ever need any help with your charts, just leave it to Tingle. Don't ever forget it. If you ever need help with charts, don't forget it. Tingle's mostly harmless. Hopefully I went the right way. Yeah. Let's just save our game here. Because I want to make sure we don't crash the game because sometimes the camera crashes the game and with this. Do 
You got the Picto Box. It can hold up to three e photographs. Press R to view your photographs. And yes, I am going to do this for every item that I find, or at least try to. All right, it works. That makes me happy. We can play the whole game and uh, use the things if we want. That's such a cute little mouse. I'm not ready, boat. I have some more dicking around to do. If you could indulge me for a moment, please admit that I am looking fine. Why, looking at this fine would have won me the Miss Windfall crown way back when. I'm still looking better than all the younger girls I know. Hoo hoo hoo! I like that sign. I really like that sign. I kind of want it on the wall. Hello, hello! Are you standing in the one and only Chew Jelly Shop? You must have heard our potions are the best, I'm telling you. They're too good. In fact, they're absolutely incredible. Hmm, what's this? What's that? What's Chew Jelly, you ask? Well, looking, looking somewhat bewildered? Oh, sir, you simply must be joking. You don't know what Chew Jelly is? Well, just ask yourself this, good sir. What a robustly nourishing element. What is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask, ask yourself. The words chew jelly roar out to answer these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why, it is the key ingredient the most effective potions around. All you have to do is bring an empty bottle to my little, little juice shop here, and I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir. Do you have an empty bottle? No, I don't. I actually like him in the... A new Zelda games. I have a theory that the new Zelda games actually are the precursor to Wind Waker. Like almost all of the... there's a counterpart for almost every main character in it and it has all of the species from Wind Waker. So that's my theory. But it does supposedly take 10 take place 10,000 years after uh, uh, Ocarina of Time. I'm not going to bother breaking this guy's shit. Yay! You're looking for a sale? I have no idea where you'd find one. Do I look like a sailor to you? Look, I'm feeling down right now, so shove off, will you? Drop anchor elsewhere. She is so saucy, isn't she? I can't believe she's a school teacher. Rumor has it she has mountains of tacky pendants and earrings. It's as if she loves nothing in the world more than her jewelry. Whom? Now what are you doing? What were, were you listening to us, you scamp? You listen, young man. I haven't seen you around, so I guess you're new to Windfall. But you don't. But don't you know it's bad to eavesdrop on conversations? It's meant only for adult ears. We're discussing very important topics that kids just wouldn't understand. You're far too young to be listening to us, young man. So shoo. 
My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away, a land where the blizzards blow violently, heading for this town of Windfall. Yeah, I kind of agree. But dear me, as I traveled, a terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits, yet mysteriously, only that escaped with so much as a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say that, that you are a traveler as well. Oh yes indeed, could you not purchase that for me? It is my one and only heirloom from home. The people of this town do not seem the least bit interested in that, despite the fact that it would help them travel the dangerous seas without about their town. Please, I beg of you, I wish to open a business here in this town, so I am in desperate need of finances. How does 80 rupees sound? I'll buy it. I need more rupees. Holy crap, I am thirsty today. Yeah, there's so many people you hate, you'll end up hating. People from all over the world seem to gather here on Windfall Island, all hoping to become successful merchants. I suppose you could say this is the island where people and money come together. But you know what? Money is important, sure. But don't you think that, that people need to open their hearts a little more than their wallets? I've been kicking around this crazy world for a long time, and I've learned to stop and sniff the flowers along the way. This guy I hate. Hey there, boy. Did you happen to see the post box down near the docks? Well, there. just so you know, if you want to send someone a letter, blah, 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 and use the post box, it's just that easy. Before long, the Rito Postman will come and deliver to whomever you sent it to. He's a hard-working fellow, I tell you. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Why, young sir, I must say, you seem to be in the possession of a very fine Picto box there. Are you a lover of pictographs as well? There can be no villains amongst the ranks of Picto box lovers. Take your time, look around, I implore you. I actually like this guy. <laughs> ho 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 ho! Are these some finely snapped pictographs? You must admit it. But come now, you needn't be so surprised, my young sir. It is a hobby of mine to sneak up behind people when they least expect it. It's quite an amusing diversion. Think nothing of it. By the way, the pictographs you see decorating these fine walls have all been taken by none other than myself. They are my pride and joy. You see, in my younger days, I was tireless, sailing far and wide across the great sea, snapping pictographs wherever I went. Have a look at them, young sir. Does this is the epitome of photography. Not too close up, yet not too zoomed out to discern the subject. It boasts the balance of skill, wouldn't you say? Well, these are creatures called choo-choos. They are said to have medicinal properties, so they are most important resource treasured by sailors the world over. Why, there is even said to be an extremely rare species known as the blue choo-choo. It is only under very unusual circumstances that are, they are ever sighted. You would be most lucky to ever come across one, young sir. I don't know if I can use, uh, become his apprentice this yet, can I? This town is our turf, the turf of the one of the world famous killer bees. Don't mess with us. Yay! Yeah, buzz buzz. <laughs> hey, it's just because you're older. Don't think it makes you tough or anything. 
you all alone or what? You must feel pretty lonely walking around a place like this all by yourself. What are you doing anyways? What you looking at, bud? Huh? 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 Hey, bud, what are you... What are you, some kind of country rube? I mean, look at that outfit. What a get-up. This is definitely going to be a dicking around playthrough, so if you guys were hoping for, like, me to rush through it as fast as possible, well, I'm sorry. I know it may look a bit flashy for a teacher, but I assure you, I am, I am one. How long has it been since I opened my school here on Windfall Island? 20 years? Ever since then, I've been teaching the children of this island about true joy. But I do have a rather joyless problem. There's this delinquent gang of four young boys who never listen to a word I say. Even though I wait patiently for these boys to show up, they never come. It's as if they don't want joy in their hearts. Could you please catch their leader, that little boy named Ivan, and talk some sense into him for me? Please, young man, for me? Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank you so much. You're such a dear. They're such troublesome little boys. I'm at my wit's end over how to handle them. But they aren't, won't be so mean to a boy their own age, will they? I should think not. Good luck, young man. There's a picture of her on the wall. All of these... There's... This is actually a real language. They've got one for a lot of the Zelda games, so I don't know what that says, but they all say something. I don't like her door. Her door is a bit much. Yeah! Yo, bud, you got a problem with us killer bees? Huh? Do ya? Don't tell me it's that annoying hag of a teacher again, is it? You came here to give us a talking to, because Miss Marie asked you to, right? Tell us not to skip school, right, bud? Tell us not to be tardy, right, bud? Well, forget about all that. We're mighty in an invincible gang of four, the killer bees. Do you think we'll eat listen to a chump like you? But, I'll tell you what, bud, if you want to challenge us to a competition, then I'll think about maybe maybe listening a little bit. What do you say, bud? Do you want to challenge us? I'll take you on. <laughs> okay, your funeral, bud. The rules are simple. We're going to hide somewhere, and if you find us, we're going to run. We're going to... you got to try to catch us. Easy as that, bud. We won't hide indoors or nothing, and we won't leave the island. So look for us around the shadows and behind buildings and stuff. To catch all four of us, we lose. You got it? Ready. I gotta remember where all these kids are. Jeez, kid, you're gonna kill yourself. You got me. No, you get away from me, old man. That tree. I hate that I have to give them, like, a head start. Yeah. 
Yar, you got me! I agree. I gotta remember where the other two are. <gasps> no! Oh, jeez. I'm not even gonna get back up. Maybe? Um. It's been so long since I've played this game last. Darn kids, indeed. You look like a curious boy. You know there's an island in a little to the east of here called Dragon Roost Island? Folks say the island is the home of a tribe of of people who dance in the skies like birds on the wind. They call themselves the Rito, and they say a sky spirit lives nearby. But to someone like me, a person who's never felt this, left this little island, may as well be a fairy tale out of a child's book. Oh, if I only had my own boat. I can hear the geese of the river mixing with the game right now, so it's kind of cool. Behind the bombshell. Let's try behind the bombshell. I think you are right about one behind the bombshell. Where's the last little brat then? Hey! <laughs> I'll throw kids at or pigs at you, kid. Oh, Lane.
Where are you, little child? One in the bush. Where is the one in the bush? Archway across the from the school of joy. Yeah, I think that's the one. This is what makes this game fun. Like, it's fun to stream in this one a, a lot just because of this. I think we got this guy. Didn't we? Did we get them all? I guess not. Got him, thanks for the help. Yep. Ah. No! 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 <laughs> You're awesome! Arrgh, I can't believe you found all four of us. And you caught us all too. Talk about utter defeat. Looks like we lost our touch, killer bees. I guess maybe it's time we chilled out. From now on, we won't cause no more trouble for no one. And to reward your hide and seek eakin skills, here, take this, bud. You got a piece of heart. Collect four of these to blah blah blah. This is our favorite possession, but you've proven that you're worthy. To our bud, the hide-and-seek master. Oh, and one more thing. We need you to apologize to Miss Marie for us, alright? We're counting on you, bud. Exactly! You did it, didn't you? You said something to those delinquents for me, didn't you, dear? You can't fool me, I watched all from the shadow of my door. You really are a dear. You fill me with joy. I have to reward you, so here's a little spare change. That's worth 50 rupees. That's just great. Oh, and one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear.
Hey, sounds like you've... Like you apologized to teach for us. Good old Miss Marie. Speaking of, bud, did you know it's gonna be Miss Marie's birthday soon? Boss, oh boss, you think maybe we should give her some kind of present or something? Don't be stupid, we're the killer bees. We ain't no teacher's pets. Yeah, but Teach loves jewelry and junk more than anything else in the world. What's she into these days, cause... What'd she call them, joy pendants? Really? Where do you find them? Are they just lying around? We could just find some we could give them to Teach as a present and she'd he'd be all happy. Hey, now that I think about it, when I was climbing trees the other day, I saw some sparkly light on top of some tree in town. Where was that? Maybe it's one of them pendants. What do you think, boss? Nah, that's crazy talk. No! No! Was it this one? I think it was this one. These pendants are said to flock to those who spread joy like butterflies to nectar-filled blossoms. The old bud, looks like you found yourself a joy pendant. Solid work. Actually, I gotta admit, we hid that thing up in the tree. We thought you might find it. Listen up, it's gonna be Miss Marie's birthday soon. We were thinking of giving her a present, so it was a good idea that we finally got our hands on that thing. But we can't be going around giving presents to people, no way. That just don't fit the killer bee style. Come on, bud, can't you just give it to teach for us, can't you? And it's not like we could just ask anybody to do it for us, neither. It's gotta be someone reliable, who can keep a secret. You're the only one who could ask, we could ask, bud. Yeah, I hate that old man, he's just the worst. What can I do for you on this fine day? We need to talk. When it comes to children, my eyes never deceive me. Someday, dear, you will grow up to be a fine young man, and your name will go down in history. That's what I think, dear. I could look it up, I suppose. My dear, that's a joy pendant. To tell the truth, I love jewelry above all else. And that, why that is an extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around, dear. Oh my, yes, I will happily take a single one from you. No, no, I insist, only one. To tell the truth, I'd actually like about 20 of them. But that would probably only happen in my wildest of dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time. It's tough to put one past me. That being said, I'm pretty sure I know who put you up to this, dear. Those little sweeties, I'm so joyful. It's the best birthday present I could ask for. I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. You got a red rupee. That's 20 rupees. What a pleasant surprise. The thing is, is that Nintendo actually never released a translation or told anybody that it translates to anything. It just took some girl on the internet like 15 years to crack the code.
Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if a boy would like you would do. It's difficult to tell. Yes, difficult. You see, my one and only daughter Mila was taken away from me into a frightening place called the Forsaken Fortress. I asked many to rescue her, but it does seem to be a difficult voyage that to that cursed place. Oh, n to see my sweet Mila again, my precious little daughter. I worry so over her welfare. I can't recall the last time I slept more than a wink. I sincerely wonder about the wisdom of asking a boy like you to do this. But would you lend a hand to rescue my precious daughter? Sure. You are a brave boy to take on this task. I assure you, if you do rescue her, I will pay you as much money as it takes and give my entire fortune for her safety. Well, let's play Sploosh. Hey, welcome. It's 10 rupees per game aim for kids. You want to play or what? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, then, uh, ahem. Welcome to the sea. Welcome to the fleet. I am the great Admiral Dovalsky. Look sharp, for we are the sole protection of this island. Admiral, red alert, all hands on deck. Sonar shows the schools of deadly giant squid are approaching. All ships prepare for battle. What? There? Ahu! I see. The fiends approach. There are three squid groups, a large one, a medium, and a small one. If we allow them to come any closer, the children on the island will be in grave danger. Sailor, take command of our new radar system to take out and sink all of the friendly hidden enemies. But be warned, you only have 24 cannonballs that you can fire. To destroy the marauding squid pods, you must score four direct hits on the large, th urge three on the medium and two on the small. Da da da, yep. That is all the instructions you need. Is that clear, sailor? Aye aye, sir. Ah, excellent. So far, our best sailor has managed to destroy all of the giant squid using only 20 cannonballs. May you fight as bravely. Splish! Splish! Kaboom! 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 Splish! 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 Kaboom! 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 Splish! Kaboom! Splish! 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 Oh, boo! Oh, bad news, the uh, sailor. The enemies have retreated or something. It's ten... Yes. Splish! Splish! Kaboom! Kaboom! Splish! 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 Kaboom! Splish! Kaboom! 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 Oh, dang it. He does say kaboom or sploosh. Splish, splish, 
Oh! If he hits, he says kaboom. If it goes in the water, it's sploosh. So close. I'd like to do a s like I think it would be pretty badass if I could like do a YouTube channel and tell stories the way he does. Just have different cutouts I'd put around my head. That is really cool. Yes, yes, thank you very much indeed. I've received these precisely 80 rupees for it. I can use these funds to finance my new business. Oh dear me, what a happy day. Well, very well, young master, as I promised, please take that. A good purchase today, my young master. You saved my life and business as well. Treasure it dearly. This is the finest sale in the world. Treat it as such. Oh, that look in your eyes. So you've found yourself a sail, have you? Very well, then. I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come to my hell and press A to climb aboard. Set the sail to these buttons and do the same button to hoist it. The sail will catch the wind, which is stuff. Yes. When you are out at sea with new, a few landmarks to go by, you will be at mercy of your sea chart. I have marked the place on which you, we currently should be heading on your C chart. If you get lost at C, simply press up to your chart. Now a westerly wind blows. Hop in and let us let it carry us to the east. might save once we get to Dragon Roost Island because we've got our two hours in.
the roost of Dragon's Island? I don't want to quit though, but I feel like I have to. Because we'll be up all night if if I just uh, let it keep going. All right. There, on the horizon. That is our destination, Ducky. Dragon Roost Island. High atop this island peak lives the spirit of the skies. A, a great dragon by the name of Valu. You must go see this dragon and request as from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the, see the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait a minute. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music in the prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it, it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods. But I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you could try using it. Three quarter time. Very nice, that was splendid. Next is four four times. Yay! I won't. Do to do, do. Yes. No. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys ooh, ooh, next week. Have a good one. Bye now.